Richard Rojas, the man who plowed his car through the bustling heart of Times Square, mowing people down in court Friday. Rojas killing an 18-year-old woman from Michigan and injuring 20 others in an incident which rattled crowds in New York City on Thursday afternoon. We're here 24 hours removed from a horrible tragedy that happened yesterday. There's still three that are in critical condition and there's one that's very critical and she is a 38-year-old woman from Canada. Rojas' car sped up along the sidewalk for three blocks and then slammed into a barrier at 45th Street. The 26-year-old driver was tackled and held by a nearby bouncer from Planet Hollywood and other onlookers until police took him away. Records show Rojas enlisted in the Navy in September 2011 and was arrested a year later at a base in Jacksonville, Florida, where officials said he attacked a cab driver, shouted, my life is over, and threatened to kill police, according to court records. Police say Rojas had also previously been arrested twice for drunk driving in 2008 and 2015, and once this month for threatening another man with a knife. Police said Rojas appeared intoxicated on Thursday. Preliminary test results for alcohol came back negative, and they are awaiting toxicology results. Officials also investigating any history of mental illness and a possible motive. Rojas now faces one count of murder in the second degree, aggravated vehicular homicide, and multiple counts of attempted murder.